Hazrat Urwa bin Zubair reports that when he was minor, he asked Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha, the Prophet's wife, Have you ever considered this saying of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu? No doubt, Safa and Marwa are among the symbols of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. Then whoso makes pilgrimage to this house or performs Umrah, there is no sin for him that he may go round both. I think there is no harm in it. If someone does not go round both, Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha said, It is not so. If it had been so, as you have interpreted, the command would have been there is no sin anyone. Why does not march between them both? Actually, this verse has been sent down concerning the Ansars for the before embracing Islam. Would pronounce the name of the idol Manat, which had been erected near Qudayd, and they would consider it wrong to march between Safa and Marwa. But when Islam dawned, they inquired Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of it. So Allah jalla jalla revealed this verse. No doubt, Safa and Marwa are among the symbols of Allah. Then whoso makes pilgrimage to this house or performs Umrah, there is no sin for him that he may go round both. Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 4495.